Okay, so real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to drop into a conversation that's happening live on the Utah Web SDR. Uh, we're just going to take a quick listen, and I want to show you guys, or I'll explain what I'm getting at here in just a second. So I'm going to unmute it. Okay, so enough of that. I'm going to mute that audio. Um, so, what's going on here? I'm sure you guys had no idea what was happening there. But radio is a very deep subject. There's a ton of information out there on this stuff. You, you can do so much. What these guys are talking about are hooking up laptop computers to ham radio, transmitting digital information. You can literally send email, pictures, uh, documents any information in a digital format, meaning ones and zeros, like Morse code. Imagine a Morse code, beep, 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 except it's, it's programmed so a computer can understand it's much faster, larger files faster. So these guys on this frequency are talking about digital transmission. One thing that every radio guy has in common is that they like radio and they love talking about radio. So they find, you know, the digital transmission guys find other digital transmission guys who are talking about hooking up their computer to a ham radio. Other guys like building antennas. They get on the ham radio and they talk about building antennas. Uh, I, these guys have such a wealth of information that all you have to do to learn is listen. Now, all the radios that I suggested you buy... Um, the ICOM 7300, the Yaesu FT891, the Bearcat uh, 980 single sideband. Those radios are going to be great sources of information once you get them running. Now, all it takes to get them running is a piece of wire. You can make, that's all an antenna is, is a piece of wire. Any of those radios will operate if you plug a piece of coax cable long enough. Well, a little, a little more complicated than that. You'll have to come up with something like this and a wire for it to receive a signal. That's it. You, okay, so coax, splay it, take that center one and hook a long run of wire to that and you'll receive a signal. Now, will you be able to transmit? Absolutely not. If you try, you will fry your radio. It's not going to work for you. But say you didn't get to my videos soon enough or my book my gosh okay guys so I got carried away I probably included too much information in the book which is going to be released this afternoon will be available to all you guys free of charge 800 pages say you don't get the book say you don't get the videos say there you don't have access to YouTube you get the radio and a piece of wire you will hear these conversations on how to hook your computer up how to build an antenna how to build an amplifier, step-by-step -step instructions. I, I wish I could express to you how, how many hours I've sat here and I've listened to these random conversations, random people talking about random things and how much I have learned. I can't, exp it's just, it, it's unreal, the information that is out there, but you have to listen. So I encourage you, check out this Utah Web SDR that's, uh, sdrutah.org is the website. It'll be in uh, the link below. Also, what's going to be in the link below is uh, is going to be the, well, no, this video is going to come out before the book. So stay tuned for the book. Again, I got super carried away and it's going to be more information than you'll ever be able to absorb in one sitting. 800 pages of, of uh, infographics, charts, manuals, antenna building procedures, uh, formulas, just all kinds of stuff to get you uh, caught up to speed. If, if you read the whole thing, you would be a ham radio expert, <laughs> more so than me. Like I said, guys, I, I have just been absorbing the very 
bare basic stuff that you need to get on the air just so I can relay it to you guys so uh, but uh, like I said Utah Web SDR great resource for you get a radio get it hooked up start listening and you can learn a ton alright we'll catch you guys next time